Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this impossible circle. First open a new document, then change the stroke to none and the fill to whatever color you like. Now press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel, click on the artboard, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse press the shift key as well. Next we will cut out the center of this circle to get this shape. To do that press the letter S for the scale tool and then press enter. Type 70 for the uniform and click copy. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder. If your Pathfinder window is not open go to window and select Pathfinder. Now choose minus front. Let's duplicate it. First make sure your shape is selected, then click on it, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the shift and alt keys. Make sure to position the copied shape so the two circles are touching each other. And change the fill to a different color. Let's zoom in on this area. Next we will create a flat top that will look like this. To do that, First select everything and then using the rectangle tool draw a small rectangle that will connect the two top anchor points. If you like you can change its color. And let's do the same with the bottom side. Zoom out, select everything and press the Shift and M keys on your keyboard for the Shape Builder tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now we will connect all the shapes together. It is a good idea to have a sketch for reference. To connect two shapes together, click on one of them, hold and drag the mouse to the next shape you want to connect. Then release the mouse. And keep doing it until you get your desired shape. Let's distort this shape a bit. First select everything and then click on the side of this bounding box and drag it to the right. Next we'll apply a gradient to it. Select the green circle, open the gradient panel, choose white and black gradient and change the white color stop to whatever color you like. Now select the blue shape and add the same gradient. Finally, let's adjust the gradient. Press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the shape and change its direction. Now select the other shape and do the same. Now zoom in to check for any gaps. To fix it, first select the anchor point and then move it under the overlapping circle. And let's do the same with the other side. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.